Hello, Jay from Broadnet here. Uh, has been some time, do apologise for that. Uh, but right now I'm going to teach you how to set up a command and control dispatch system uh, using Broadnet Dispatch. Uh, you can do this for free if you want to trial it. Uh, if you don't have one of our handsets, uh, you can just download our Android app from the Google Play Store. If you just head over there and search Broadnet PTT, it will all work with this and you can trial the whole thing for free. Head on over to our website and click on Customer Portal, which you'll find up here. Uh, you need to go to broadnet.systems and it looks a little bit like that. Uh, click up here, Customer Portal, it will bring you here. Create yourself a username and password, confirm the password. Uh, and then add organization details. Uh, for this, we're going to call it YouTube. Uh, create your organization. Uh, once you've done that, it will give you a screen like this. Here, you can add your incident types. So um, whatever types of incident you're gonna deal with, say um, RTCs for road traffic collisions, um, you can add as many of these as you like. This will all come clear uh, shortly of why you need to do this. Here you can add a dispatch user. So if you want somebody just to head into the website uh, and use it as dispatch and have no backend access at all, um, create a user here. Over here then, we're going to create some handsets and channels. Up here, we're going to create a channel. So we're going to call it, um, I don't know, Ops CH1. There we go. So we're going to create that channel. That's been created. Should we create channel two? Why not? Ops CH2. So there we go. That's going to create that one. Over here, uh, we're going to create a username. So we're going to call it U, as in YouTube. Uh, right. And then we're going to give it a username here. This is the name that's going to appear on other people's handsets. Password, you know, original with that one. Uh, create user. Right, now we've done that, we need to assign this user to these channels. Uh, so we assign it by clicking these buttons here. Uh, should we create another one? Let's create another one. YouTube2, I know it's original. Tube 2 possibly gone over there, no, that's fine. Right, so we've got two users now. Um, what we are going to do, we're going to go all the way up to create five users. And the reason for that is because if you have five users, it will give you access to the dispatch system, uh, which you will see shortly. Three, I should really jump cut this, but uh, hey, you can, do, you can work along with me, it's fine. <laughs> Two. And you... YouTube. Guess what this one's going to be? Yeah, you got it. And there's YouTube 4. So we're going to do one more. And this is what's going to give you access to CAD because it won't give you access to CAD without five users. YouTube 5. There we go. and create handset user. So now we've got five users, we've reached our limit of our three uh, free trial. So we need to assign these users uh, to these channels. Now, depending what handset you're using, if you're using um, a smartphone from, um, from Google Play, or if you're using one of our BN 01s or 01 pluses or 03s, you can click on this and it will give you this QR code. What you can do is just scan that QR code and it will set the handset up to that channel. Um, if you're using a BN220 or a BN2, you'll need to type in this number. Uh, the reason you can't type this number is because it's a numer numerical keypad. Uh, so it'll be a bit of a nightmare trying to do that. So just type that number into the BN1 and the BN2. Uh, once you've done that, it will assign these handsets to these channels. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're just going to pause this and uh, I'm going to show you the handsets being assigned. Right then, sorry, the microphone's not going to sound quite as good on this one. Uh, so here we are, we've got three handsets that we're going to now assign to uh, Broadnet. Uh, we've got a BN220, which is this one here, uh, BN01, uh, which is this one here. Um, 
although we're not actually going to assign that one because the battery's flat. Uh, we've got a BNO3, which is actually my favourite. So let's assign the BNO3. What we need to do then is click on scan QR code, hold it up to the screen and scan it. There we go. That's all you need to do. Now that will set up to that user. As you can see, it says YouTube 5. Give it around 10 minutes for it to populate through to the servers uh, and that will be on the network. With regards to this one, it's a little bit different because this one hasn't got a camera. So you need to type in this number here uh, and let's just do that now. So that's 00894611. Right, once you've typed that in, go down to done and click on there. There we go, and that one's gonna set itself up as well. Um, I'll jump back over to the other screen so you can see what's happening, uh, and I'll show you CAD working. Right then, so we set up two handsets, and you can see them up here on the screen. Uh, there's our first one, and there's our second one. If I key up on the handset, um, you'll see it come up on the screen, so if I press that, uh, you can see that's that one. And you can also hear me coming out the other handset as well. Um, and if I press this, which is probably going to do the same thing, you're going to see the other one light up. And there you go. Uh, what you can do, you can do a request to call. So on the handset, if you press uh, request to call, you'll see it come up on the screen like this, which identifies to the user of CAD uh, that that person wants to talk to them. Once you've spoken to them, click on there and click callback made. There we go. You can also set the different statuses on the handset. Um, you can set them to do whatever you want, really. So if you want them to be uh, at scene, uh, you can do that, and it will mark that handset at scene for you. Uh, the user of the handset can then put themselves as available again, which I'm going to do now on this handset. So there we go, and that will come back as available. Uh, also, the user of the handset can mark themselves as at scene, busy, or on a rest. So we'll put myself on a rest. There we go. And the CAD user will know, and know that that person can't be contacted. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is how to create an instance. So we go to here, we go to RTC, it's a grade one. We're going to put in uh, North Street. Uh, we're going to spell it right. And we're going to put a comma and then where it is. So we're going to put Brighton, North Street, Brighton. Uh, car versus bike. That'll do. Uh, we're going to create that instant. Uh, then we're going to send it to somebody, um, and we're going to do that by clicking on whichever user we want. Uh, what we might do, though, because some more information may have come in, we might need to add more detail to that. So we're going to create a note. Um, black. It's got to be a BMW, isn't it? BMW uh, versus pedal cycle. Um and then you just fill out whatever you like, really. Just put what you want. So then create the note, um, and that has added it to there. Close that window down, and now we're going to assign it. We can assign it to both users if we want, or just one. Uh, we're going to pick this one, so we're going to do that. Now that beep you heard in the background, is it appearing on the handset? Um, and I'll show you uh, a little bit of footage of that in a second. Um, now that appears on the screen of the handset and I can read on there, it's car versus bike, it's in North Street um, and I'm going to click accept on the handset and that should then mark me as accepted, which it's just done. Now on the other handset, um, I don't want to accept that because uh, I'm already busy, so I'm going to hit reject and that's rejected that. Uh, what it will then do is if you open up the CAD again, it will then show you who's accepted it and who hasn't. Uh, once they're done with that and everything's done and dusted, on the handset is now marked as deployed, uh, which you can see just up here. Uh, that instance will be dealt with now, so I'm going to mark that as clear scene from the handset. And then up on the screen, that is going to mark back as available, which it has. Right, I'm going to show you some footage of the handsets now, and then uh, I'm going to mix it all together. Uh, if you want to try this system, then just head on over to broadnet.systems, uh, click on Customer Portal, and set yourself up. You can create as many CADs as you like. Uh, once you've created them, you can do uh, different things with them. So once that one's done, you can then close the CAD down. Um, it will grey out for the day. Uh, if you do ever want to get it back, then you go to Dispatch and then you go to Incidents and they will all be logged here for you. You can then search your incidents uh, and then bring them back. You can even reopen them if you have to. So if it's an ongoing thing, you can then just open it back up again 
uh, and then you can reassign it to somebody. So then, as promised uh, on the handsets, uh, this is what it looks like when you receive a CAD on a handset. Uh, what I'm going to do now is click assign. As you saw in the video before, uh, we're going to assign it to a user. It's going to be this one here. There we go. And you can see it's coming up on both handsets. And you can decide what you want to do. So you can pick it up. You can have a little read. Uh, you can decide whether you want to actually accept it uh, or reject it. So it's an RTC in North Street. Uh, I think what we'll do is accept that. Once you've done that, uh, it's then going to show you as deployed, which is here. Um, when you've dealt with the incident, you click on your status button and then you go to available at scene, whichever one you fancy. This one we're just going to mark as available. And then back in CAD, it's going to show the uh, controller that things uh, have been cleared up and you've dealt with it professionally and quickly uh, and you're available for use again. So you can just use these as normal PTT devices. If you don't want to use the dispatch system, it's not a problem. Um, they work as normal radios do. So you push the button, you talk, and it comes out the other radio. So pretty simple. Uh, same again, one, two, three. Uh, obviously, the good thing with that is they work any distance anywhere. So it doesn't matter which country you're in. You can also do a private call or a P2P. Uh, you just highlight the user you want to talk to, press and hold and it will uh, P2P the other radio, like that. And to answer it, you just press the button on the side. There you go. And you are connected together. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, please head on over, take a little look, and let us know what you think. If there's anything you think we've uh, missed and you think you'd like to see on there, then do let us know by emailing support at broadnet.systems. Thanks very much for your time.